We got us a Walking Liberty Ender. My first find since I come over to bottom feed with Scott. Looks like we got us a big old dandy button. Let's see what we have. Oh yeah. Got us a Benji. Thinking we got some silver here. Oh no, it's not. We have us a walker. We got us a cat bust. I can't make out a year or anything yet. That is awesome. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Rick from Hunting Southwest Ohio, and we are back with episode 8 of the Nickel Hunt and Fill series. Excited to get into another box. Got our album sitting here in front of us. We do have our buffalo album. If we do find a buffalo, we will add it to that. Uh, we have our three Jefferson Nickel albums. Uh, I'm not going to get into them at the beginning of the video this time. I can tell you that we currently have 149 of 195 spots full. So excited to get into this box and try to add some more uh, spots. See if we can get them filled. So definitely looking forward to it. We're obviously looking for silver war nickels, which are 1942. It was a transition year into that through 1945. We're looking for buffalo nickels. We're looking for key dates, semi-key dates and any sort of errors and varieties that we can find. So we'll pop this box here open and just confirm. We do have circulated nickels. We have a lot of newer ones also, but we'll see what we find. If we need to, we'll get into a second box. We'll see how it goes. So I'll bring you back in when we hit the first find. Roll seven, we finally have our first find. We have a 1946 out of Denver. First 40s nickel. Also did pull out a 2009D. I do keep these when I find them. I just have not been finding any very often. So we'll keep at it. See what else is in here. Same roll. And we have our second 40s dime. We have a 1940. That will be out of Philly. Roll nine, and we have our first 50s nickel of the hunt, and it is a 1951. 51S will be a semi-key date, and it is. 51S, we have one. It's a nice shape, and I'm thinking we need this for the book. That will be awesome. All right, see you on the next find. Roll 13, we have our second 50s nickel. It's a pretty nice one. 1959 out of Denver. We'll take it. See you on the next one. Roll 14. 50s nickel number three. It is a 1954 out of Philly. Roll 15. And we have 40s nickel number three. We have a 1947 out of Philly. Same roll, we have our fourth 50s nickel, and it is a 1955, and it's going to be a Denver. I was hoping for that Philly for another semi-key, but we'll take it. Roll 18, 40s nickel number four of the hunt, we have a 1940, out of Philly. Roll 20, I just cracked this roll open, and I pushed it down, and there it is. We got us a buffalo, but what I also noticed, we got a second one in the same roll. That is awesome. First time for that. Two buffaloes in the same roll. Let's take a peek at this first one, see what we have. I don't know if I'm going to get a date. We'll take a look under the scope. I do not see a met mark. We'll double check that. No, I do not see a mint mark. Let's see if we can make anything out here on the date. Hmm. No, I am not seeing anything. Unfortunately, that one is probably going to have to get nicodated. Um, I'll take this look at this quick underneath the loop before I grab that next one, and we'll see if I can get anything with that. 
No, I don't. I can't get anything on this first one. We'll end up nicodating this at the end. Let's take a peek at this next one. See if we have anything on this. And I do not see a mint mark again. But we do have a date. And that is... 1920, I think. It's kind of hard to make it out, but it's there. Nope, that's going to be 1930. Let's double check that mint mark to confirm. And... Nope, no mint mark. 1930 out of Philly for the second one. We'll nicodate that first one at the end. Let's just take another peek here quick. And I do not see another one. That'd be awesome to have three in a row. All right, let me get through these, see if we find anything else. Roll 25, and we have 50s nickel number five, and it is a 1955. A lot of fives going on. And this one is going to be a 55 Denver. Was hoping for that Philly. But, as usual, we didn't get it. See you on the next five. Roll 27. And we have 50's nickel, number 6. And it will be a 1957 out of Philly. Roll 30. And we have 50's nickel, number 7. And it's going to be a 1953 out of Denver. Same rule. We have 50s nickel number 8. And it will be a 1957 out of Philly. And I've just seen this back here. Another Canadian. This is actually the third one of the hunt. But since I already had you here, we have a 1994. Rule 35. And we have 50s nickel. Number nine, it's a 1958, and that will be out of Denver. Rule 36, and we have a third 1955. Still hoping for that Philly. And it'll be a Denver again. Hopefully, we'll have a shot for one more. Rule 38, and... We have another foreign. This does not. Nope, it is a Bermuda. It didn't look like a Canadian. And we have a 1985. Five cent. Pretty cool. Let's see you on the next five. Rule 40. And we have 50's nickel. Number 11. It will be another 59. And two nickels later, we have another 1959. And this one will be out of Philly. Roll 41 and we just uncovered a 1939 nickel. It is pretty war which most likely means there will not be a mint mark but let's find out and it will be a Philly. We'll go ahead and check this for the doubling and you should see that on the Monticello and five cents and it is not there. So, we'll just have us a plain old 1950 or 1939 Philly. Roll 44. And we have 40's nickel, number 6. It is another 1940 out of Philly. Roll 47. And we have 40's nickel, number 7. It is a 1948. And we go for another semi-key. 48S would be a semi-key, and it will be a Philly, but I will take another 40s nickel. Roll 49, we have 50s nickel number 13. It is another 1958 out of Denver. All right, we have 50 rolls hunted. Had some good finds. We got a great amount of 40s. We got a great amount of 50s. I do have a couple more 58s here I pulled out of the last couple rolls. I did not bring you in for did find a couple of 09Ds, which is uh, something I haven't been seeing much of as 09s in general. I usually do hang on to these, um, but I just haven't been finding them recently. Uh, we got three Canadians, and then we got that coin that was from Bermuda. 1985 with the fish on the back. Pretty cool. And our two buffaloes. I'm going to go ahead 
get us a date on this one and I will bring you back in shortly all right we have got our date use the handy nick -a date here you can find this online wizard coin supplies where I usually buy it from so good stuff definitely works great um, so we got a date here's that other one we have a 1917 and there is no mitt mark so it's a 1917 Philly so we're gonna go ahead get into the albums see what we can add I'll bring you back with the first one all right I'm excited I'm back with our Buffalo book which is our 1913 through 1938 the years that they were minted and we got a couple more editions so we found 10 buffaloes 10 editions to the book so far we have that 1917 Philly go ahead get that plugged in and we have that 1930 Philly two more finds we got 10 buffaloes in the album we'll take that all right let's get into book one of the Jefferson Nichols all right we're back with book number one for our Jefferson Nichols which is our 1938 through 1961 D and we will have just one edition this time, but it's going to be a key semi-key date, 1951S, with 7.776 million minted. So, happy to have that spot filled. It's one of the other ones, a little harder to get, that we have down. Like I said before, I think it was last week, we're getting down to these key dates. And a few silvers is what we really need for this album. So, we'll keep at it bring you bring you back in for book two all right we're back with book two and this is our 1962 through 1995 d and we're going to have four upgrades and two additions this time around we're going to add a 1973 philly we're also going to add a 1977 philly and for upgrades, we're going to upgrade a 1970D, we're going to upgrade a 75D, we're going to upgrade a 78, and we're going to upgrade a 87P. Uh, the 87P is quite a bit better. The others are slightly better, basically just less scratches uh, on the face or the obverse. So let's go ahead and get these swapped out, and we will get into book three. Book 3, 1996P through 2024, and we're going to have two editions, and we're going to have an upgrade. We're going to add a 2001D, and we're also going to add a 2004D, the piece metal. And over here, we'll have an upgrade of a 2017D. Obviously, much better mint luster and definitely less scratching. So, swap that out. And I will be right back with the total. So, where do we stand? All right. After tallying everything up for our Jefferson albums, our three Jefferson albums, we're at 155 out of 195 spots. So, that's awesome. Uh, we're closing in. Uh, we got about 40 spots to fill. And for our Buffalo album that we've added, we have 65 spots in this album. We currently have 10 spots full. So we've made great progress on this in the four hunts, I think, since I've had it. So very exciting. So can't wait to get into the next box. But I appreciate everybody coming along. Remember to give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. And we will see you on the next hunt.